as authorities investigate several fires that have been intentionally set at tax offices across Memphis, and it appears the acts of violence are now impacting other businesses. Hello, I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. The feds are now requesting your help solving two new arsons involving a tax business and now a restaurant. WRG's Bria Jones joins us live now after talking with the owner of one of the businesses intentionally set on fire. Bria? Well, Greg and Seth, this is now the third arson here at Taste Addicts. Now, the feds are now investigating, and the owner is offering a $20,000 reward for answers. Watch as a man throws not one, but three Molotov cocktails onto the roof of Taste Addicts on American Way on April 26th. Federal agents say this was the second attempt within three days to set the business on fire. It's like as soon as we posted that we were reopening, that's the same night that they tried. Natasha Badger didn't want to show her face, but tells us she is the owner of the restaurant. She shared this video of large flames inside the restaurant on Valentine's Day. MFD says that fire is also believed to be intentionally set. At this point, you know, I'm just thinking like not again. It took us several months to even get here. In February, arsonists also hit the woman's rapid tax refund office, shattering glass by throwing another incendiary device into the business on Perkins Road. I just think it's jealousy because we haven't personally done anything to anyone. Agents are also investigating another case that happened the same night as an incident at Taste Addicts. This time, Molotov cocktails were thrown into the roof of Tax Boss Empire on Fraser Raleigh Road, causing serious damage to the building and impacting another business owner. She's doing fine. You know, she's going to rebuild soon before the next tax season. I think she'll be back open. Meanwhile, as the crew at Taste Addicts prepares for a grand reopening next Monday, they want you to take a closer look at this Nissan, which may have been driven by the arsonist. Mentally, it didn't destroy us. Just made us really more hungry to come back in here and do what we're doing. ATF is now trying to determine if all of these fires were set by the same person. If you have any information, contact authorities. Now reporting live in Parkway Village, Bria Jones, WREG News, Channel 3.